buttons are depressed. Play it on the set. Quiet on the set. You're listening to WRFB Radio Free Britannia. Coming to you live from Deltona, Florida. Nine years plus and still running. Who would have ever thought they'd last this long? Lunch with no other than the dynamic duo themselves, Laz and Jack. Greetings, everybody. This is Laz. And this is Jack. Welcome to another exciting edition of Lunch with Laz and Jack, where we interpret the Shroud of the Avatar news so you don't have to do anything other than question your own personal life choices and ours. Because that's it's right. Highly questionable. And happy President's Day out there. <laughs> Hope you all yeah. go out and get yourself plenty of sales on Cordelaine just subscribe appliances and for your support, sheets and all that good stuff that they put up on sale for President's Day. Cordelaine yeah. starting yeah. us off right with the sub for 16 months. Yay. Thank you, Cordelaine. Oh, man. Does that mean we're going to be playing marbles there, Cordelaine? I don't know. Are we going to be continue with the news? I mean, that's Coeur d'Alene. Coeur d'Alene, Coeur d'Alene. Up to you. Coeur d'Alene gets to tell us what we're going to do. Yes. As we wait oh, in his and response. he says news. He wants the news. All righty. Very cool. Oh, yeah. Well, there ain't much in the nude, so we're going to do... No. <laughs> <laughs> and I did launch marbles just in case, too. Yeah. Cool. It can uh, wait if we need it. Oh, man. And the, the topic that won't die from last week is... The topic got that won't more stuff. die. Oh, i tell you what. Oh, we're we're, we're just loving this topic out there. This one is, yeah. of course... And of course, everybody's waiting for it. It is another Monday, so uh, there may or may not be uh, another meeting to pass. Uh, you know, all that fun stuff that. Uh, yeah. Because people want to know where's the Shroud 2024 roadmap where's and future leaf? vision. Where are these things? Um, but uh, 
Mapper points out, and they achieved two out of eight aims. Would be good to know what went wrong. Why was everything not hit? Those are bad stats. Help us, the players, understand. And then we will probably be more appreciative when you post the 2024 vision, when hopefully it is a lot more achievable. Absolutely. Yes. Two out uh, of Bomaris eight. Re responding to uh, the roadmap needing to be a fluid doc document. I tend to agree. So long as the team continues to provide updates for items that backers may have prepaid for. Example given. Episode 2. Lord of the Isle stuff. Like some rings uh, and other things. Um, a new 2024 roadmap would be great. It might help for them to differentiate between would be nice versus must have items. This might Absolutely. help us understand the team's top priorities more easily. As is with the 2023 roadmap, I wondered why we even need some of those and why the team would focus on those over episode two content. I, 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 I I'm, I'm going to throw in there sneak scene. That uh, doesn't use the in-game mechanic of sneaking. You know? Yeah. Yeah. Sneak, sneak yeah. scene. Uh, the courage club. More PvP. Yeah. Uh, scenes that don't have anything to do with episode two. Uh, you know, stuff like that. Yes. But I agree. Uh, they should definitely be working on uh, you know, things that people like myself, yourself, and many of you guys Paid for in advance. Yeah. In advance. That's right. Like episodes two through five. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yes. I mean, it, it's like, where, where are these things? I mean, things that uh, we were told were going to be worked on that ended up not being worked on and other new things were thrown into the mix. But continuing on, Provador, it's like, that is not a roadmap at all. That is called the working log. And we definitely don't need that because the monthly release notes have already covered that very well. Roadmap should be about something that will be done in a fixed date, not some dreams that might or might not happen without any clear reason. Yeah. First off, Trovador, how, how do you even compare the monthly release notes that we don't get till the day of? We have no idea what they're working on, and we have no yeah. idea what we're going to get till the release notes are actually freaking published. That's not Anywhere is near and, a roadmap. Not even close, and, brother. No. And yeah. and a roadmap is... I mean, if you think of last year's and previous years, hey, this is going to be our priority for Q2, Q3, Q4. Um, why aren't these things completed in earnest? I mean, it, it's like the uh, last year, they said that they were going to redo the tutorial scenes, right? They said. And they're going to cover several different things. But the first iteration was, hey, here is just the inventory one. Okay. And Laz and myself actually did it on stream and we identified like eight bugs related to that oh. inventory system. Yeah. Yeah. Well, it just wasn't um, functioning properly at the time because 
there was a glitch in what? the key system, yeah, that just, you know, did not work properly, and, uh, yeah. well, it was a mess. Yeah, I mean, it's like, it's like these things have to be done well, and they need to think of better solutions for some of these things, um, because, yeah, and... and and quarter lane's asking, how many fucking redos of these scenes do we need? Well, the problem it, with that is how many times do we need to redo when, the when, thing? When it, it it is one where it's like as they change things related to in-game tasks, you actually need to change tool tips. You need to change how things are actually developed uh and but the tutorial scenes as like the patch notes shouldn't re refer to systems or like the user user guide shouldn't refer to things that haven't been in the game in 2 years Agreed. I mean, did did we not not see something that was in the user new player guide the other day that showed something that hasn't been in the game for two years when it was uh, related to deeds uh that or the up updates on yeah. how how much bonus you get when you flag pvp or yeah uh, yeah, yeah. The, the shroud math related to that those yeah. things but that that is stuff where it's like they make changes and think that okay, this announcement within one place is covers everything, but then the release notes aren't comprehensive. We know that. Oh, by all means. Yeah. yeah, and the release notes are only supposed to be updates that are in that release. It's not supposed to be showcasing things that are coming in a later release. They have things to do that would actually or, allow or, hey or here's something us coming release in release notes about stuff that she released last month that made it in yes yeah, before it was actually released uh yeah yeah which we see way too often yeah and um adam crow with whatever you call it it's going to be a waste of the developer's precious time <laughs> adam i completely disagree with you because what a roadmap says is this is what we're working towards. It is here's the goal for what we're looking at. Without a goal of where they're going and what they plan on doing, how do how do they plan what they're working on? You have to have a plan for these things. Um Berrigan with, that's not true. It's actually pretty important to plan and priorities what you're going to work on. Absolutely there, Berrigan. You got it. Um, Trovador agreeing with uh, Adam Crow. Exactly. That is what, why I said we don't need the fluid roadmap because that's no different from the monthly release notes that we already have. No, the monthly release notes are... Hey, these are the things that made it into this release. Yeah. It's not things it. that made it into the previous release, and it's Stop not things that are making it into the to next release. Compare the two. They're not yeah. the same. Not the same at all. One is here's a long term goal. The other one is this is what we did this month. Um if if we actually did it. Yes. Um uh, Adam Crow. I meant making a roadmap for the players to see as a waste of time. They haven't did it, delivered anything close to what they have planned in the past. You really think this is this one will be different? Well, <clears throat> uh, we still want a hey. This is what we plan on hope hope to accomplish based off of what we're doing. I don't want to see things like hey, here's a sneak scene that doesn't use this the in-game mechanics related to sneaking. Here's a sneak scene. When it's a conversation. Don't talk to anybody scene. Yeah. Yeah. 
Yeah, it's like, what, 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 what is going on here? What are y'all doing? Um, and then map, map her with, uh, I agree, sort of, but they must internally have a short-term plan for the next three to four months. Why not let us know, too? I can't imagine uh, they go into each release blind. Maybe they do. Mapper? <laughs> It, Maybe you, you, you don't you, want you don't want to imagine it, but but maybe yeah. maybe they do, and that's how that some of these things that were created that we didn't see where they came from. There was no nothing posted in the forums about it. But and then yeah. they yeah. <laughs> Yeah, uh, well, uh, and for the sneak scene, remember, I did make a post that was deleted where I, I tried to call it the introvert's uh, dream and name it a conversation avoidance scene. The conversation avoidance scene that, of course, they took offense to because when you tell the truth, it gets deleted because and, that's and, exactly and no what warning. Sanyo called it. That's exactly what Sanyo called it. But when somebody yeah. like Jack or myself points that out, nope, not going to do it. Wouldn't be prudent. I, it's like, why, why did you delete it? I, and, and Bridge Troll with the observation, game is in maintenance mode, not development. Um, And Berrigan with... There are other benefits to publicly providing a plan, like generating excitement in the player base, which will likely lead to more income for them. Yes, and as we have said, they need income. Lots and lots of income. <laughs> and they, they have to realize... The reason, the way that they have shot themselves in the foot, amputated legs and arms by changing policies related to lots of things like the vault um, are not not things that people really actively support and has lost them substantial backing um heritage items and then huh you said the vault yeah. you meant heritage Sorry, items. Uh, I mean, <laughs> <laughs> no, no, like, like the, the the recycling of items. I, I meant the. Oh, the okay, gotcha. That. Yeah, okay, gotcha. Yeah, instead of creating new assets, releasing old assets and cheaper means, hey, I'm never buying shit until that stuff's all gone. And it's like I was not the only person that did that. People made forum posts and got banned from the forums for saying the same thing. Um, it is what it is. I just never. I never said it out loud until now. Um, or actually, I've said lots of things out loud. <laughs> yes. Um, yes. Roadmaps are for development. Tickets are for maintenance. Yes. Yeah, that is correct. Well, I mean, and th then you can get into epics. Ooh. Is there epics. an epic for that? Yeah. Um. Been thinking about my so uh, Bo Morris. Uh, been thinking about my own soda 2024 wish list as I ponder that. Questions come to mind like, what are the community's best ideas to improve the game that would further engage the current player base? Okay, so Bo Morris, I'm going to actually say this: the player out base loud? has <laughs> ha oh, very out loud. The current <laughs> player base has been consistently reducing not increasing reducing you we have to change that so what are you going to do to engage new players that become current players what are you going to do to entice new players to spend money yes Yes. And it's not giving them stuff from 2014, 15, 16, and 17, I guarantee you. No. I mean, you have to entice new players 
and you have to create things that would make them want to uh, spend some of their hard-earned money because there was that decision six months after launch to go free to play. Well, uh, I'm I'm going to um, point out the obvious problem with that. And of course, we, we, we've known it all along, and many of you might have known it all along, but the obvious problem with, with that was that the people who did buy multiples of those objects before, you all actually went ahead and... Uh, changed policy. Cha changed policy and made them available everywhere. Um, you know, you, you, and then dropped the prices and devalued them as that People who are willing to try and recoup some of the money they lost are still going to undercut you by selling it cheaper, either in gold or crown someplace else, so that they can oh, yeah. recoup their losses because you guys screwed them for the value of what they paid in the beginning. And, uh, you know, they're not happy about it. And uh, so players are still going to look for... Uh, those deals before they go ahead and they start looking yeah. for, you and know. Because, uh, as Botox says, keeping their promises may be a good start to keep players and get some more. And remember, all of those items that are in the vault were promised to be, like, especially when it relates to things that were done during telethons, one time only. <laughs> if you did not participate in said telethon you'd lost your chance to ever get that item yeah unless you got it from another player yeah um but that is them making the decision with the leader of the company making comments like I have been doing everything over the past couple of years to make Shroud of the Avatar less and less money. Focused. <clears throat> and Botox is like, heritage items were one of the reasons that drove me and my whole guild away, including all of our subs. And it's yeah. like... <clears throat> I mean, it, it took them for two years to actually go through and look at heritage items to see how many people have actually repacked things for sale to others and to realize, oh, wait, this was a mistake. Um, yeah, how much have we made? Oh, on? we made next to nothing because yeah. nobody's doing it. Yes. Oops. Oopsies. I mean, how about this? They oh. release an item and say, this is the only chance. We were refused to put this in the vault and have it up there for a limited amount of time. See how many sales you get on that item. Compare that to all the other items that are up there for sale. Kill that item and then realize, hey, whoops, we could have been making money all this time. Um, we could have been selling new pixel crack <clears throat> for lots more money. Yes. Yeah. And uh, going back to Bomaris, which of these ideas might best attract previous players back to the game? And which of these ideas would be simpler and less expensive to implement while having the highest positive impact on the game? Think of, I mean, th these are a lot of things that would be management's thinking about what they're doing. Yeah. But remember, the owner of Catnip Games will be back to being full time ish back on the project in November of 2022. Somewhere. Yeah. Remember, the leader of the project still has not made an impact an appearance on the forums since January of 2023. Made a single appearance on a live stream. On in one two years. live stream. Yeah. And that was because it was the 10th anniversary of Shroud. Uh... 
we're not bitter or anything about that. No. <laughs> Hold hold on, this is going to be hilarious. And Botox says, we now happily throw money at Amazon in New World. Yeah, well, that's what happens there, Botox. That's what happens. Yeah. Conjure Dragon says they could create a unique item you can only get on one occasion and then never again, and then tell no one in advance where, when, where, or how. You mean like the 10th anniversary cloak that they decided to throw in during a live stream for about 45 minutes and didn't announce in advance, and uh, you're never going to see it again if you didn't spend $80 to get that cloak. Which of course, yeah. I, 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 I don't think is worth eighty dollars. Uh, yeah, first off, no. Yeah. No. Now, uh, how many times I've donated twenty or twenty-five dollars to get a cloak, and again, that was a donation to a cause uh, to help fund something for a guild or to help you know fund the convention or you know to help fund one of the charity items. Absolutely, but uh, just eighty dollars to. The company just to get a special cloak. Well, uh, I I have a line on somebody who bought multiple cloaks who may be wanting to get rid of uh, yeah one one or two of them yeah. you know for you know <clears throat> less than eighty dollars. So yes, Bertelain yeah. says, "Is anything in this game worth eighty dollars?" Uh, absolutely, um, and. Yes. Uh, yeah, there, there are plenty of items. Again, I just recently uh, made a big deal. I showed it to you all on uh, stream. I made a big uh, purchase where I got lots and lots of items. I cherry-picked what I wanted out of them. I resold a bunch of them already and, uh, you know, took, took some of the other items, put them up for sale for gold, and uh, I've got at least one of those items I'm holding on to because... Again, I have some information that leads me to believe that that item is going to be a very hot commodity here in the very near future. And uh, once once that update hits, if it does what I think it's going to do, then it's going to be worth quite more than eighty dollars. Let's just put it that way. As it is, as it is right now. Well, hold on. Let me let me just go see. Uh, Let's go see in the crown store. Uh, let's see. What are you looking for in the crown store? Deeds. Deeds? Yeah. Property deeds? Yeah. Which one yeah. are you looking for? I wanted to see how high they went in the store. And they go, okay. they go to city, and of course, uh, city deeds right off the bat. Uh, yeah, you know, we're going for thank you. Um, yeah, one hundred sixty for a place anywhere taxed. Uh, that's just taxed. Uh, then you have keep deeds and you have castle deeds out there. And let me look at my inventory of deeds. Let me just see. What I happen to have for D D row 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 village village village. All right, now taking uh, let's say uh, place anywhere tax free water, which is a founder mm -hmm. deed, and upgrading that to a place anywhere castle deed. Uh, 975 dollars is that right is uh I don't know. yeah not not 97 500 crowns is 975 dollars nine thousand five hundred crowns is what ninety seven five hundred dollars nine thousand one that one hundred is a dollar. Uh, uh, I'm not paying attention to what. It, uh, yeah, hold on. Nine hundred dollars. 
Yeah. Yeah. Let, let, let me. Uh, I, I, I mean, clip this for you so you can see it in Discord for yourself so you can get an idea. So, okay. Yeah. Right? That would be okay. $975. Uh, da, 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 da. Yeah, $9,750. Yeah, $9,750. And that, that's some shroud math right there. Okay. So, and that's upgrading from a place anywhere tax free no, water no, deal. 10,000 kodos are 80 bucks on sale. Yeah. But uh, it's we're, but if you, if you think about the, the shroud math related to the upgrade path, okay, and we got to bring up this image that way. I, I, I I'm can just actually tossing see it, it out as screen. an example. Yeah. I'm but, just tossing it out as an example. <laughs> essentially what you're doing is just moving the thing over two bu two 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 places so it's actually nine hundred and seventy five dollars and let me no we're not seeing that right now because we don't we're seeing what first off yeah i'll, I'll go quarter lane's answer yeah. seeing what so nine hundred and seventy five dollars would be that upgrade too not nine thousand nine hundred and seventy five that's what I said. Nine hundred seventy-five dollars. Yeah. So that's almost a thousand dollars from a starting with the founder place anywhere tax-free deed. If you're starting with the tax-free place anywhere, not a founder, um, you can't even get there because uh, you have to go. You have to go through all the other POT tax, POT water. All that. But anyway, my point being is that uh, out, of, out of all those to get to that, you know, I got a castle deed in that deal that I paid $500 for, along with a bunch of these other deeds that you're seeing here. Uh, so I got about, you know, six deeds in total, plus a whole bunch of other rares, plus a whole bunch of other goodies, plus a whole bunch of deco that I paid for. And just in this one deed alone, I feel I got my money's worth was getting this POT taxed water deed. And uh, even, even then, if I wanted to go to a POT tax-free water deed, it would still cost $320 just to upgrade it from a POT tax, which doesn't make any sense. Hold on. Is that right? Yeah, it's something. Oh yeah, to go, to, 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 to go from a POT taxed water deed to a POT tax free water deed, it would still cost three hundred and twenty dollars uh, in, in crowns. Okay, so um, again, my information tells me that these are going to be opened up, and you're going to be able to go all the way to the top tier. But I can't promise that. That's just the information that I think is going to happen, and even at that. Uh, you know, I think that this deed alone is worth more than the $500 I paid for the whole bundle of crap. And, uh, just for shits and giggles, I'm going to just pull up that, uh, that list one more time for everybody. Let me see. Where is that list? Who is that? I know I have it here someplace. I just have to find it. Uh, when I find it, I'll bring it up. <laughs> When I find it, I'll bring it up for y'all. Is uh, can't yeah. actually can't actually remember where this which which person this trade was under. I don't know. Oh, there it is. But going is back to no. Bomaris, yes. Thinking about that, what strikes me is that what Soda most lacks is a player-driven strategic reason to play. In other words, while Soda has a deep lore of factions. E example given Lord British versus Darkstar. 
Um, where is that really in the game? Beyond the single-player storyline, there is not much in the game for the player to fight for. After episode one quest lines are completed, there's not much else in the game after that that calls the player to associate and to engage as part of the factions that we learned about. Okay, so... I'll answer that in a minute, Stymie. Um, we, we actually have several uh, issues with this, uh, Bomaris. Uh, one... What is something in the game that uses courage? And can you define what causes your courage to raise or increase? Okay. Two, how does the game define what love is and what a action based on love really is? And when you're doing that quest line, do does the love have anything to do with the quest line? As, and then truth, the easiest way to game that system is to go to up to an NPC and sit there and say, my name is Bob. And then you too be. can Answer end be. up with the most glorious shroud of the avatar that is morally ambiguous gray. Because you have reached the pinnacle of min-maxing stats of the truth, love, and courage to equal zero. So when we talk about the factions within the game, within the game, you really we will really have to design all of the quests and the interactions to actually take into account the virtue system and. Like, <clears throat> include things like rescuing people within, helping them heal, going through doing things, as well as, hey, if you didn't help these guys, your virtue gets dinged. Or if you killed them, your virtue really gets dinged. Um, but you, we, you would have to change encounters yes, and actually have a, a much more thorough system related to it. I'm pulling giveaways. Yes, I will as well. That's um, but, Condor Dragon. Ooh, Data Panic. Oh, fuck. I forgot Data, Data. Panic's name. Data Panic's is... Hold on, I'll tell you. Uh, uh, but it, 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 it... Like... That that that's all a that's, statement uh, of Barden Bella. <clears throat> These things still need lots of work because they were not fully fleshed out in the beginning, and it was all done as, "Hey, we'll get back to this later." But congratulations on that you, streamer. You mean proof bundle. of concept? Yes, proof of concept, and we'll we'll fix these things later. We we have to get away from. Proof of concept and go to, hey, here's the full thing. And it's going to apply all over everything. Yes. <clears throat> and then the next here's your proof, proof of, concept of concept sneak scene that doesn't use the sneak skill. That's right. Yes. Um, okay. Da, 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 da. To care about lore factions, engage in PvP or at anything but the individual le level. Or really even role play around those. Lord British versus Darkstar? Who cares in this game? But what if that lore... I'm going to point you to the lore section of the forums that are thoroughly flushed out with all of that information that you're talking about, Lord British and Darkstar. Oh, wait, there is no lore section oh, that's oh, got oh, any oh, posts oh, in oh, it. Oh, 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 yeah, hold on. Let's, let's get over there. Let's bring that up. Uh, hold on, there it is, because we're going to be... Visiting uh, in game lore. Where is in game lore? Game forums. Game forums at the very uh, top. Game lore and fiction contains no messages. Yeah, all that game lore. Yeah. Is, uh, and the, the other question who are Lord British and Darkstar? What's a paladin? What's a paladin? 
They are no longer associated with the project, except for Lord British's name is still on the project. Um, what, what if there were factions in the game that allowed players to associate at a higher level than their individual guilds? I mean, you, you mean the, the faction that Laz will probably pull a napkin out of that was talked about at Sotocon and I have, was given though. to him Whole in 20... System. 2019 uh, and it 20, had four 2016 different factions? at Dragon Con. 2016. 2016 at Dragon, Con, sorry. At Dragon yeah. Con. Yes. Where it had like the Obsidian Order, it had uh, all of the different factions, and it was, hey, we're going to associate with these different things, and players will possibly get to associate with them as well. And blah, 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 blah. Y yeah. Um, that never even made it to the proof of concept stage. What if those uh, factions were given some meaning in the game, such as the ability to somehow influence or take factional control towns? That was talked about in 2014, 2015, 2016. With the creation of Blood Bay? What? Yeah. Y y y Blood Bay, the, the top <laughs> PvP -er for the month, is going to be the manager of said town and be responsible for who all lives there. It can place and remove lots and can do all kinds of other. Yeah. Oh, yeah give wait, you a reason wait, to actually what? PVP. Yeah. But yeah. that, that was only done once. What? Yeah. No. Uh, towns are such a large feature of the game, but outside of episode two, one questing lore, they have little factional meaning for the after game. What if they did? What if PvP was about flipping the faction of towns on the Overland map? Thinking very similar uh, to how towns <laughs> can be flipped in Sid Meier's Civ 6. What would that give players a reason to take up sides as part of the lore and log into the game more to participate? You, you, we, we need stuff like this. We need to have, hey, your in-game decisions affect the game world for the rest of the players, all kinds of things. What about like if we implement those control points and they have to be maintained or else it's going to improve like the monster spawning or whatever. And the controlling guild can actually say which faction they're fighting for and do all kinds of other stuff. Yes. Um, control points. What? 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 All these things? Um, Control points? Essentially, what? yeah. <laughs> uh, other than building out POTs until we run out of space, what is the after game of Soda? There is none. It, it is go get 50 billion XP so that way you can get one skill to uh, uh, 200. And that way you can really see how bad the Shroud math really is. And can one easily be created by adding a faction system somehow attached to towns that creates a more strategic reason? And by that, I mean a reason bigger than our own character's advancement to play the game. I don't know. I'm just asking questions here in a brainstorming manner. But what if? Yeah, there's a lot what of what ifs there, uh, Bomaris. Um, yeah. the, the, a lot of these things were talked about early on in the development the team. Could when, have when, been when they so had. Curious. When they had plans for, hey, these are systems that we're going to implement at a later date. And uh, kind of like the guild system, PvP, war, all of those things that came later. And um, um, they're going to get to it um, kind of like Regional the economies, movable yeah. health. No, <laughs> kind of like the movable health bar. It's going to be done. It's a super simple fix. And it's going to be done as soon as the developer that it's assigned to gets back from vacation yeah. from, from their honeymoon. Six, six years later. Se six years later, they hey, finally... Why can't I move my health bar? I can't move it. Did you lock it? I didn't know it was lockable. Wait, wait, wait. Did I lock mine? Did I lock it? Can you no longer move your health bar? <laughs> Hold on. Uh, where is it? Dun, 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 dun. Controls. 
where is it? And I mean, it's like, what if they turned around and uh, updated their user interface and actually made it intelligible for where things are actually kept? It's not their interface, maybe? I'm looking at an interface. Uh, lock status movement? Yeah, it's lock status movement. Oh, With an is. awesome okay. design, yeah. lock status movement? Great naming there. Yeah, what is my status movement? Yeah, lock status movement. Yeah, it's just been so long, and the catch is we both had it enabled, you know, like to be movable. So it pro well, probably got reset when it, well, yeah, so it was mine. Yeah. But oh, I, oh, yeah. When we reinstalled Windows, reinstalled Windows, yeah, yeah we had to. And uh, it defaulted it, to, to locked. Yeah, exactly. But uh, anyway, yeah. real quick, I want to jump over here, and again, I'm gonna, I did find that uh, that list of goodies that I was telling you all about. So let me just, oh, uh, the, the... yeah, I'm just gonna bring that window up real quick for everybody to see, and then uh, I'm gonna answer Stymie's question. So this was the whole list of goodies. Um, I'm oh, just that gonna, you bought from another yeah, player. Just gonna scroll through and show you that you know there there was literally metric shit tons, including uh, you know, a couple thousand crowns. It looks like there at least a thousand crowns. But uh, you know, I'm, I'm looking for the uh, yeah. This was all the property that came. Uh, you know, commission free vendors, road deeds. Uh, there was let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six deeds, a couple commission-free vendors, a bunch of houses, a bunch of royal scepters. I mean, th th this one page alone more than made up for the amount that I paid for it. Now, I also put another topic in there for you, Jack, uh, to bring on up because uh, Stymie wants to know how I was able to do that. Uh, remember, Stymie, your post was deleted off the forums, uh, whereas, uh, you know, th this was something that Ravlock said to me. I know he edited your post, but he hid it from everybody else, so nobody else could see it, just you could. But uh, when I wanted to sell this rollout and I just put send me offers, I copied and pasted your exact uh, original want to sell lot just like you know you sold yours to me um i just copied yours to sell mine and then i got this nasty gram please update with your payment accepted in your post in game gold kodos crowns you know which are the same fucking thing dude uh or in game trade and i yep. i i literally said didn't think that was really needed since rmt is not allowed here as it says up in the area here activities that allow real money you know are not permitted in the player marketplace doesn't mean they're not allowed everywhere else that's why we have places like uh crowd marketplace like we have a uh, discord soda trades like uh, marquee dragon has a uh, for sale on his place and several other people have for sales on that's their just website marquee dragon selling his own stuff though but, yeah. uh, but but he's but, still yeah, selling but, stuff yeah. for you know, for cash, and uh, yeah. he he is the trusted trader of Shroud of the Avatar because nobody else could get trusted trader status. Yeah. Um. Yeah. Uh, Royal Scepter but, is yeah. going to be valuable soon. You think so? Uh, not, I only have not, no. Yeah. No. Uh, let, 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 let's let, let's just jump over here. Uh, just for Ro Royal Scepters are not going to be valuable ever anymore, considering oh, they keep reducing the actual tax burden. As uh, yeah, I I've got the Royal Scepter market uh, cornered as far as I'm concerned uh, with a dozen of them here, literally a dozen, and. Uh, yeah. You know, I've got 3.7 million in tax credit uh, thanks to those royal scepters, and 
Oh, look at that. My castle deed and my city deed are past due, but 44 uh, days. So I have to go use those today. But uh, going back to the uh, 2024. Just, just, just to vision. finish what I was saying was uh, yes, uh, not allowed on the forums or in the game. Other places it is allowed. And of course, uh, you know, they can't control what's going on outside of the game. Yeah, but Trovador with uh, the only, re as far as I agree, sort of, but they must internally have a short-term plan. Why not let us know, too? The only reason that I can think of is that the devs are trying to hide something from us. And I bet that something is definitely not a good thing. Wait for it. It's coming. Oh. Wait for it. There are other benefits to publicly providing a plan, but if that plan turns out to be a lie, the potential damage would be gr much greater than the income it initially brings. Which of the ideas might attract blah, blah, blah. I think the answer is very clear already, which is finishing up all the existing halfway done content in Soda, such as the mounts that can jump. Bard voice training skill with a useful effect. Complete the cooking skill tree, etc. Those are one of the reasons that cause wave of rage quitters in Soda along the years. However, I believe this, this is impossible since Soda devs are so insisting on leaving them unfinished for years to come. I mean, that would all be part of a fucking plan and to stick to the plan. Do your plan. Um, I don't know. Just asking questions about what if just look at the, how many brilliant new ideas we already have in the wish list and how little attention the devs have paid to them. Do you still believe that brainstorming more new ideas for soda would be different from daydreaming? I mean, Trovador. Yeah, Let's go take a look at the uh, queued for review and processing this year. Oh, yeah. yeah. Queued for review. Wish list requests. And then queued for review. We have one update from Wednesday, which is Wednesday. the Totem Salvage, which was initiated in 2020. And the snowball boxes. We have two things from this. I mean, totem salvage? Seriously? Been on the list for a while. Now, you, yeah, I, it yeah. was created in 2020. Yeah, well, again, is a totem salvage been there, but. I, I I don't see the big deal in this because, you know, those things are just so easy to get and make that you can just, you can buy the essences, you know, easily and cheaply and then just make lower level totems. I don't know why. Yeah. And and if you made too high a level, well, why did you go that high Let's without checking out the consequences in the first place? That's my Replace my it deal. with a newer one? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just replace it with a smaller one. Uh, so much easier to do than to have to uh, have them find the list to and break it down, the, you know? So the the weird thing is that um, if you look at the last two posts in that, Aliyu... In which one? The Totem Salvage? Yeah, the Totem Savage. Aliyu post, posted March 12th, 2023. Yeah. Would have to look at how the Fracture Gym recipe works and what in that it remembers what sort of gym you put in to know what sort of fragment to give back. Then updated with a ticket yesterday. Yes. Um, Wednesday, yeah. actually. Yeah, yesterday. Wednesday. Sorry, sorry, yeah. sorry. Wednesday. Last week. But uh, I think of it as a forgotten issue and then, hey, here's a ticket related to it. Yeah. Yeah, um, but so many other things need work, like the cooking tree, and it's like, 
so many game systems that were half done need to be completed. Half baked. Yes. Yeah. And uh, is that Tiana's? Uh, oh, oh. Tatiana's signature is hilarious. Yes. yes. So long, Soda, and thanks for all the caltrops. Yes. Who's ever used yeah. caltrops in this game? I don't think I, I've ever I, used them. Well, okay, so they were kind of useful um, in release nine. <laughs> kind of useful in release nine. Kind of. Sort of, kind of. Yeah. I mean, but not really. Yeah. Um, well, in release nine, they actually did some damage and, and, and actually did do some things, but I, mean, you, you would have to actually have things that would be impacted by said caltrops. And it's like, now going back to the, the, that post, about the only reason I can think of is that the devs are trying to hide something from us. Um, is I, I would think related to a question that we have all, all the time. Which is? Who are the current devs on the project? Well, again, as uh, we'll find out shortly who three of them are. And we we we, are, we probably oh. already know the answer to the who the three are going how to will, be. How will we learn who three of them are? I mean, are you referring to the fact that they are going to come up on a costume contest in game? That's right. Of are you which, the best uh, dressed Outlander? That's right. Yeah, and. And, and then from there, three it's like, members of the dev team will be judging the outfits. And, and the other question would be like, who is volunteering time versus who is full time? Well, like who who is who, who is working yeah. on the project full time? How, how many people log Development. in on a daily basis? How many people are actually logging in on a monthly basis? You know. Why don't we yeah. just release those numbers? But you know, nobody nobody ever wants to release real numbers because they say that we've got this really great player base coming in and their retention is great, but we can go right to soda chatityavatar.net and look at the actual realistic real time graphs month for month for month and prove otherwise yeah so we're not going to do that right now because we've done that in the past and uh and, yeah and the, it's the, also the, time to time to those, get out of here the, and those for some real time the graphs that, come from their up. own api so they can't yeah. say that it's not true um yeah but uh yeah keep trying to blow smoke up people's asses and people are gonna just you know not listen anymore anyway Yep. Moving right along. How many will be ass kissing just to win? Listen, I've already got the winning costume, so don't don't even bother entering. It's it's the uh, lunch with Laz and Jack uniform. <laughs> you you look at it every day. It's the beautiful oh, beautiful know, look. Right. That's right. Yes. No, no, no. It, see, it's my version of it with, with the bicocket hat. <laughs> Because everybody that, needs that, to buy that, 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 was, that was the original, but of course, you know, I got to get the headphones so I can hear I, what's going on. I, I know. On. The, uh huh. Yeah. yeah, you just wanted yeah. to show off the. the I, 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 actually, that's going to be the winning outfit right there. There you go. Oh, right. <laughs> it's, it's super smexy right there. That's going to be the winning outfit right there. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but it's time for us to get out of here, which means that's we get right. to pull some giveaways. And uh, streamer bundles coming up first, and Lomir. Lomir had to go, so you gotta have to mail it to him or give it to him tomorrow. I'll forget tomorrow. And Conjurer Lomir. Dragon, one more time, congratulations, Andre Fletcher. Oh yes, 
And then... Oops. The Steam Key going to be going to... Ovagami, who's getting a copy of... Dun, dun, dun... The Ramp. He, too, can do some vertical skating on the ramp. Oops, that's, I, that's why... That's why I'm in the wrong place trying to send these. I don't I, I don't know what you're doing. I'm trying there to get go, Henry's Ovagami. name in there and I'm doing it in a search instead oh, of instead yeah. of sending it where it's supposed to be sent, you know. Well, well while we're doing that, the ramp the ramp is six From months the last on Steam currently. And long live the stymie is our game key winner. And let's see what we've got for the stymie. I mean, you're going to get yourself a copy. You've probably got it already. Wolfenstein 3D. Ooh. Tell, tell me if you already have a copy. Go kill the Nazis. And Wolfenstein 3D on Steam, currently $4.99. Hell, it was a lot cheaper than one of shareware back in the day. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, we got to go ahead and get out of here. Uh, we'll be back with more tomorrow right here on NBN. Until then, I'm Laz. I'm Jack. And we are NBNN. Have a great day, everybody. We'll see you all tomorrow. Bye-bye. <laughs>